Hey guys, it's me again. I'm still wearing the same t-shirt. I'm not a grub. I'm just filming on the same day. So this is a part two of my pregnancy update where I'm going to share with you guys my hospital bag and some, some essentials that I have packed. Um, my baby's bag is fully packed with everything that she needs. My bag has just got the essentials in it. The last minute stuff that I need to pack is just my face wash, my toothbrush, toothpaste, and just clothes to come home in and clothes to be at hospital in. Um, I didn't have not pack them yet because there's only so many clothes that I am fitting into right now. Um, so that's what I'm wearing at the moment. So last minute I will be grabbing all those clothes and chucking it into my bag. Now I do have a separate bag for my daughter and for me. I think I talked about this in the start of my video that I just filmed but I probably have forgotten already. Um, I do have two separate bags only because I didn't want everything to get muddled up if my partner or my mum or someone had to go into my bag and grab stuff for me. Um, they knew if I needed something for the baby it would be in the baby bag, if it was me it would be in my bag. Um, I didn't have a bag big enough, like a duffel bag big enough for my stuff so I do have did. So I do have um, just a little check on suitcase thing which the hospital said was fine because um, it's all I could fit in. Um, I'm sorry, I'm just looking over here. My bags are over there. I'm going to move over there shortly and show you guys. Um, I did um, check with the hospital what things were provided and what things weren't provided. They did give me a little bit of a list um, of the things that baby will need definitely and what they don't provide and stuff. So I did go off that list and pack like I, um, if I was going to be there for about a week or a couple of days or whatever just in case. Uh, I just like to be fully prepared. I don't like being there and like I need a pair of socks and I haven't packed socks like that's annoying and then my head tie breaks and I've got one hair tie it I just didn't want it to be that kind of annoyance so yeah I'm just gonna get straight into it and just show you what I have got I'm going to move you over um, to a different location um, just to show you guys it and I'm going to Show you guys the bags. I'm gonna hey sit. guys, so I'm now I'm just sitting on the ground. I'm actually so much more comfortable sitting on the ground than what I am sitting up on my bed. Um, this is probably a little bit too, a little bit close and personal. Um, so I'm going to show you guys what's in my daughter's bag for hospital first. I seriously go through her bag like every day and take stuff out and put stuff back in and change it around and stuff. But I'm just using my Colette by Colette Heyman. Um, nappy bag. I'm not too sure of the style of it. It's just the black quilted one with the cream cut and rose gold. Um, I absolutely fell in love with it. Um, when I first saw it I got um, a nappy bag, nappy bag um, bag from Target and um, I thought that's what I needed and I was like you know what uh-uh I'm gonna be a stylish mama and I'm gonna get something super 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 fancy and stylish. The best thing about this bag is that it has got this little compartment at the back where it's got a change mat and it's got little compartments whew, at the front. And this bag is super heavy but I will not be carrying it. Um, so the first thing that is on top, I have some wraps. Um, I have this wrap here which I got given at my baby shower. It is 100% bamboo or something like that and it is so soft. And I thought this would just be really, really nice to wrap it in because it is very cold at the moment here in Sydney. And I know it's going to be cold and I just want her to be warm. Um, it's thick but thin but it feels very warm. It's going to be very, very warm for her. If you see this here, <laughs> this is just her bassinet sitting here with all her blankets and stuff. So don't mind that. And behind me is just all her clothes folded up. Like I said, her room and her stuff is not here at my mum's house. It is at my boyfriend's place. Um, but I am coming back here after I do have her to be with my mum. Um, so I do have some stuff here for her. Um, so yeah, so I have a wrap. And then I do... And the next thing that's in my bag is some Muslim wraps. I have three here. Um, these are just like... I don't even know what kind of material these are. They're just like the cotton, cotton Muslim wraps. Um, these are all washed and they've just got like cute little prints on them and stuff. I got a white one and two pink ones. I was giving these at my baby shower and um, they were on the list so I've packed them. <laughs> um, the next thing I can see is I've got some washes. I think I had three but I think I've only got two in here. It's just some washes. Um, I just packed two just of my own ones just because I didn't think that that's something that they would have at the hospital for the amount of people that they get in there. So I just packed two little washes um, 
just in case and they've got little owls on them I don't know if you'll see that but yeah everything's been washed I did that weeks ago which I wish I didn't because I have nothing really to do now to prepare for the baby um I have this mini mouse onesie it's got this cute little mini mouse little hood the hood does come off and it's just a little onesie with mini mouse and it. it is four zeros I brought it uh, a while ago and if she does fit into this this will be what she'll come home in we just don't know if she's going to be a four zero or a five zero but I'm taking it anyway um, just because I love Minnie Mouse and I really would like her to come home in something really cute like this um, but if she's five zero I can see my mum running out as soon as she's born and buying a lot of five zero clothes we were going to return um, some for zero stuff and trade it for five zeros but um, we didn't think that, well, if she is a, um, going to be a 5 zero, that she wasn't going to be in it for that long. And 4 zero, she might be in for a little bit. Um, the next thing I have is just some little pants. These are just from Pumpkin Patch. I'm pretty sure um, my friend passed these down to me from when she had her daughter. Um, her daughter is now a year old and she had all these clothes that she was holding on to. And she gave to me and I was so thankful because they are just like, cute little clothes like this um these are all newborn which are four zeros um so I hopefully that these will fit her and they've got the little feet in them I have two pairs of them so I've just packed them just because they would be really really um they're just neat to have instead of having to put socks or you might have to put socks on um, over them um I just thought they were really handy with the feet in them and the other pair of pants I do have is actually a 5-0 pair of pants just so we could measure oh, and see if she needs 5 zero. So these ones just say Daddy's Little Lamb on them. And yeah, they're 5 zero. So that's the only 5 zero thing I do have in my bag. Um, so I think it's the only 5 zero thing. We'll soon find out. The next thing I have is one of these sleeping bag things for babies it is four zero again my mum got this on special and I really wanted one of these these are just really handy because you don't have to wrap them I thought it'd be really it's really really warm and I thought it would be really good to have in hospital if we were there for a couple of days because wrapping her um some babies don't like to be wrapped and some babies can be really fussy and get out of it and I just thought that would be really really handy if she was going to be like that <clears throat> oh and I do have another washer it was just hiding so I have three washers all together um, the next thing I have is a couple of these kind of washer type onesies. I have three of them. Um, like I said, I did pack like I was going for a week. These are just really, really handy to have. So I'm pretty sure I have one little one. Okay, so I've got a 4-0 in the little pink and another pink one in 4-0. And then I have a white one in... 4-0 again so I just have three of them just because I feel like they're super super handy to have if they vomit on themselves and it stains something or hopefully it doesn't but yeah if they vomit on themselves on themselves it's just they're just so easy to clean up and stuff um okay let's grab all this up. this is the last of the clothes um so I just have another onesie just another little flower onesie and again that's four zero I have a mini mouse onesie which is four zero and then I have one of these bonds wonder suits which I am totally obsessed with um, which again is a four zero and I just love these I love bonds baby clothes so much um, I like how like you can twist the feet over and they're like little socks like it's just so handy so they're all the clothes that I am taking to hospital um it may seem like a lot more than what people pack but I like to be prepared if I am going to be there for a week so I sound like a crazy person um and I have just a bunch of singlets and then I have some long sleeve like little t-shirt little cotton things just in case you never know and it's freezing here so yeah so I have some pink ones some white ones I have a bonds one um so yeah so I just have a bunch of singlets because it's really good to put singlets underneath babies when it's cold just make sure they are rugged up and they are layered for warmth <clears throat> now the rest of the stuff I have I have about 
I have some Huggies newborn onesie, uh, onesies? I have some Huggies newborn nappies. I was very, very fortunate enough to get boxes and boxes and boxes of nappies at both of the baby showers I had. Um, I had a baby shower in Queensland with my family um, who weren't living in Queensland. All my family lives in Queensland and my boyfriend's family, my stepdad's family live here in New South Wales. So I did have two separate baby showers and um, I got a lot of nappies. Huggies nappies, I probably wouldn't, I think I brought one box because it was like 20 something dollars. Um, but I probably wouldn't be buying Huggies after we run out just because they are so expensive. But I know that they are the best nappies. So I have about... I have a couple. I have a lot. I have two little piles of nappies um, just because the hospital doesn't supply nappies and I want to make sure I have enough. Even though I don't live that far away from the hospital and my mum can come home and grab a box or whatever. Um, but I just like to be prepared like I keep saying. And then I have a big pack of Q-Rash wipes. These are the Simply Water ones. Um, 99.8% water. For sensitive skin, um, I've just read a lot, um, I did buy a lot, or I did get given a lot of Huggy wipes as well, but um, they say as a newborn, 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 that you should just be using the water wipes, so I didn't want to take any chances of her getting um, a rash or anything, um, or nappy rash or anything like that, so um, I went out and I got these, and I had just one, I had... Um, just these packed in the hospital, my hospital bag, but they said that was not going to be enough. So I went out and I brought the big packet. Um, so yeah, so these are soap free, alcohol free, pH balance, there's 80 in there. I think these were like $7 or something, but definitely worth it. Um, you don't want to, um, just be putting anything on your baby's bottom as a newborn, just because they are super, super sensitive, um, I think for the first couple of weeks, what I have read. So that's packed in there and I also have some goat's milk body wash. Um, I think the hospital supplies some washing stuff for to wash the baby in for its first bath but um, I prefer, prefer to bring the goat's milk body wash just like I said before their skin is super super sensitive but they just come out of their little belly out of your belly um, and they're there's just so much in the air and so much sensitivity going on. I just wouldn't want to risk her getting itchy or having a rash or eczema or anything like that. Goat's milk is really good for yourself and babies. So I am just taking this with me. And then I just have some nappy balm in case she does get a nappy rash. This was given to me at my baby shower as well. It's just, it's from Eco the eco store and it's just a nappy balm to protect and soothe the delicate the young delicate skin um it's just in this cute little jar and yeah so i'm just taking that with me just in case and then on in the side pockets i have some three beanies and And a couple of pair of mittens. I have three mittens. And and where are my socks? And three. And then I have about four pairs of socks. So yeah. So I would say I'm pretty pretty prepared for hospital for her. Um, so I'd say I'm pretty prepared. So that's all for my daughter's hospital bag. Um, I will leave the link down below for this collet bag. Okay, so now for my bag, I have my little suitcase down here, which I'll insert a photo of, and I'll insert a photo of it open and stuff. Um, so I'll just show you guys what I have packed. The first thing that I have packed, which is just sitting on top, is my Minko pouch. Um, I was going to take my handbag with me, 
but I, um, I just didn't think that was a really good idea to take my handbag with me. I just have some panel in there and I have my Medicaid card, my license and my um, bank card and I just have my EOS balm in there as well. And I will have my phone, earphones and stuff like that in there but that's kind of like a last minute packing. I wanted to take this instead of a handbag just because um, you just never know at hospitals and if you're leaving stuff there and you're going somewhere you really want to make sure everything's there and my suitcase and her bag do have locks on them for if I am going somewhere and my bags are left behind. Whew. So I'll insert a photo now of it all opened and packed and stuff. So the first thing that is on top is my Bonds hoodie. It's just a grey plain hoodie just to keep me warm. <laughs> Um, the next thing I have, which was given really nicely given to me at my baby shower as well, it was a little hospital care pack, um, was, is just some magazines, which I didn't even think of or wouldn't have thought of. Um, so I just have some magazines in there, which will come in handy. And I also have the mother and baby magazine, which is going to be really, really nice to read. The next thing I have is just some maternity bras. These ones are just from Big W. They're just there. Emerson brand or something like that. These are probably the comfiest bra. There is no wire, like no support, nothing in them. They are just so comfortable. So I just have a pink and a grey one. Um, I do have some other bras that I have brought, but I am wearing now, so they will be last minute packing. Mm -mm. The next thing I have is a spray bottle. Um, I picked up this because I've read a lot about if you do get stitches down there, if you do tear, and it's really really good to spray water onto if. Um, to spray water onto to dilute um, your wee so it doesn't burn or anything like that and you meant to stay really really hydrated and stuff so I just brought that just in case I do get stitches which is most likely going to happen because it seems like everyone who has their first baby seems to tear so um, I just wanted to be really prepared because I really don't like being in a lot of stinging burning pain so I've got that packed in there next thing I have is just this big nighty stylish kind of nighty. I didn't want to be like a nana nighty. Um, I just got this big polka dot nighty in the biggest size I had which is an extra large um, for going into hospital. Um, I just got this from Kmart. I just thought it was super super cute and it's a really really nice material and it was going to be really really comfortable to be in hospital with. And next I have some maternity pyjamas. I got these on sale from Big W and it just has the kind of like pullover breastfeeding situation. So I got them. Um, I did, they say not to, but I did buy, I brought actually a couple of packets on maternity undies, but they're what I am wearing at the moment. They say to take not new undies, but I do have a couple of pairs of maternity undies and I'm flashing my knickers, but they're new. I haven't worn them. So I have just two pairs in there now and I'll pack clean pairs on the go. And the next thing I have is just a maternity singlet. I do have a couple of these, but I am wearing them now because they are super comfortable. So I just have this pink one. It's not a tight, it's very flowy, which is going to be super comfortable. Um, like I said, I don't know if I said, I've just got some essentials in here. I will have to pack on the go when I am on the way to hospital. Before I go to hospital, um, some clothes to come home with, some tights, some more pyjamas, some more undies, and stuff like that. I just have this little cosmetic bag which I am going to put my last minute stuff into just because the cosmetics bags I do have in here are fully chocked um, and I did, couldn't find just one big cosmetic bag that was going to fit that I could fit everything into. If I have them in all three I'll know which ones to go for. So I just have this one I just got from Cotton On Body. It was like $2. <sighs> so this is my first cosmetics bag. Um, I will just show you pull out some things that I've got in here so I just have a shower puff um, just one of these little hair clasp things um, just to chuck my hair back up into I do have some nipple nipple um, breast cover things breast pads and um, they say not to bring them because your milk does come in for a couple of days but I've had a leaking problems so I just bought them anyway I just have some bobby pins and some hair ties um, I've got some wet wipes because the toilet paper is meant to be really, really, really itchy at hospital and really um, hard and it's not a good feeling when you have to wipe yourself with just after having a baby and all that situation down there with some itching toilet paper. So I just want wet ones, um, 
just because it would then meant to be like soothing down there and stuff so I've got them packed in there I have the little toothbrush holder thing for my toothbrush when I do last minute pack that I just have some toothpaste in there as well just in case I have some Nivea body lotion just because you never know and I have some antibacterial wipes for people who are coming near my daughter because I am gone a bit germ friendly crazy lately and um, I just want to make sure everyone is nice and clean when they're touching her just because there's so much so many diseases and stuff going around at the moment you would hate to be the one that gets a little baby sick um, and the next thing I have is just this other little pack I'm not going to open it because it will be hard to get back in here but I just have a deodorant some makeup wipes I have a little toothbrush that I got in a travel set from Nivea um, I got a lip balm, some massage oil for when you're in labour because apparently a nice shoulder massage is nice while you're having contractions. I have a lip balm and some dry skin for elbows and feet. I like to put that on my feet and put socks on. It relaxes me like there's no tomorrow. And I just have some body wash, cocoa body wash and some just face moisturiser I think it is. But yeah, the travel sets that they sell like Kmart and the chemist and stuff are actually really really handy because I pretty much have all of this in bigger sizes but I would hate to take the bigger sizes to hospital with me. So buying the smaller sizes is just so much handier, everything I needed. I will be having my camera in here as well um, but I'm also taking my Polaroid with me. I'm a Polaroid hoarder, I love taking Polaroid pictures and I really want to get some nice Polaroid pictures of my daughter when she's born so I'm taking that with me. <laughs> Um, the next thing I have is just my dressing gown. It's just a big pink, soft, warm dressing gown, which I've been dying to wear. But I know if I wear it, I'll probably drop something on it and I'll stain it and it'll just look daggy to take to hospital. So, um, yeah, this one is just from Cotton On Body. It's just pink and big and warm and I can't wait to snuggle up into it. And then I just have some maternity pads. So I have, they said this is the most you will, most thing that you'll need. So I have two packets in there at the moment and I'll probably pack another one. I'm very stocked up on them. So yeah. And then on the other side, I just have some of my fairy slippers, which is from bras and things that I got given for my birthday. And I have some, I have some lollies. Um, to chew the pain away and I just have my Aveeno, Aveeno? Thermal spray, face spray, um, just if I need to refresh myself. Um, so that's about it, what I have got packed in my hospital bag. For me and my daughter, I really hope this does help someone. I probably look like a crazy packing person, but like I said, I like to be prepared. I like to have everything I need there with me. So I'm not sitting there being like, where the hell are my freaking slippers? So like I said, there is still some more stuff in there that I do need to pack. But I feel like I've got the most essential stuff with me now. And the rest of the stuff is so close by, I can just chuck it straight in. Um, so yeah, so I really hope this helped you guys. If you are packing for your baby to go to hospital or yourself, it gave you some ideas of what to take and stuff. Um, like I said, I'm a crazy packing person. Um, so yeah, so thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!